morning, my name's Debbie. I'm the radiographer here at Winborn Hospital and for the benefit of the AHP day, we thought we'd show you the expected journey and normal route of a patient coming to us from MIU, which is the minor injury unit here at Winborn. Uh, I need to explain that obviously we're during a COVID pandemic, so I have clean gloves and an apron on and we'll be wearing a mask for the purposes of this examination. And I must also explain that our patient is actually one of our student radiographers. Good morning, Lindsay. My name's Debbie. I'm the radiographer here today. And you've been sent to us for the minor injuries unit yes. because you've hurt your right shoulder. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. yes. As I'm undertaking this examination, I need to do some ID checks with you. This is called our pause and check. And is it to ensure that I've got the correct patient and that we've been doing the right views for you? This is part of our regulation. It's known as Urban Ionising radiation medical exposure regulations. Okay, I'm going to ask you to follow me over to the machine because all your details are on my computer behind my leg. Alright, so you did this yesterday. Can yeah. I just check you haven't had any x rays since the injury? No. no, nothing at all. And have you had any operations on that arm before? No. No, so no metal work or anything like no. that. Okay, the other thing I'm going to just check with you is have you removed your bra? Yes. And no necklaces or anything. No. Lovely, that's brilliant. So we can proceed with the examination. In order to take these examinations, we need to do two views. And that's all right with you. Yeah. First one, I'm going to ask you to come and stand with your back against the board for me. And it's important that I make sure that you feel safe and comfortable with your disease. Yeah. Good. All x ray examinations have to have a mark or face on them in order to indicate to the referrer what side we're x ray. In this case, we have a right arm for your right arm. If I can ask you just to slightly abduct your arm, and again, that feels comfortable. Yeah. Lovely. I'm just going to be moving the tube now in order to position for your shoulder x-ray. I can ask you to stay nice and still in that position, and I'm going to be going behind your leg straight to the tip. For the purposes of this video, obviously, we have no patient details on our computers at the moment. But this computer is normally our control panel will have a protocol image shown with an exposure suggested exposure but we can alter that exposure depending on the size of the patient whilst we take the exposure we keep our eye on the patient to ensure that they're nice and still throughout Lindsay I'm just going to take the x-ray now so keep nice and still and I am pretending to expose at this point once I've exposed I can then enter back into the area to make sure my patient is okay. Lindsay, we can ask you just to relax. Well done, Lindsay, that was brilliant. We've finished with your examination now. We've done two images. We're now going to get that reported on and I'm going to send you back to see the nurses in the MRU. Hello, I'm Claire Cox, lead reporter and radiographer, advanced practitioner here in the radiology department at Victoria Hospital, Wimborne. Once the patient has had the x-ray from MIU, I will then hot report the images ready for them to view. So this patient did not have any bone or joint injury on these plain film radiographs. However, that may not mean that that's the end of the story. They may have an underlying injury to the rotator cuff complex and in due course may proceed to have an ultrasound. Checking patient's details, everything is correct. Patient fell over on a garage floor, impact injury to right shoulder, full stop. The right glenohumeral joint appears in satisfactory articulation with no fracture or dislocation seen, full stop. The right AC joint appears congruent, full stop. No fracture seen to the right clavicle, full stop. End. Hi, I'm Ian Brody. I'm lead sonographer and advanced practitioner at uh, Victoria Hospital, Wimborne, and I've been asked to scan this patient's shoulder following her or uh, following her plain x-ray today. So the plain x-ray may indicate some bony injury but it won't necessarily see any underlying pathology relating to the rotator cuff tendons so the patient may or may not have a follow-up ultrasound to complete the diagnosis. So I would normally uncover the patient's shoulder and scan the shoulder tendons in various, the arm in various positions, the arm across the chest, to the side or behind the back. 
enabled to enable us to see the various tendons in all their glory. So following a successful examination of a shoulder, a sonographer will report their own images to enable the referrer to advance the uh, diagnosis.